Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. As usual, we're gonna take a look at all the majors including gold and oil. And while I roll the intro disclaimer, you'll have the time to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, as you see not much uh, major events on the calendar for the upcoming week and um, yeah we soon start to um, have the summer trading which mean uh, slower markets, we are already seeing that uh, happening, many, many markets going sideways, so you need to adapt to that, you need to uh, probably lower your uh, take profit levels as well uh, since most of the market are going uh, sideways. So, um, as I said, not much of event on uh, major events on the calendar. We have on Monday, uh, ISM non-manufacturing PMI from the US. We have uh, Tuesday uh, from Aussie cash rate and the RBA rate statement. And on Friday, we have employment change and unemployment rate from the CAD and some other medium impact events that we also may keep an eye at. If we start with the chart and uh, as always with the Dixie, we are on the daily time frame, we see that the Dixie is uh, still going also sideways inside uh, this little range and that is what we're gonna be watching for the upcoming week as, as well to see if this market will uh, break out or not so if we go down to the four hour time frame you see it more clearly the Dixie still having issues breaking above this level here a couple of weeks now and uh, down here is uh, the support of uh, this uh, range so the bottom is at around 97.70 and the uh, uh, sorry the top is 97.70 and the bottom is 96.40 uh, and that is the range that we should playing um, for now on the one hour time frame you see it clearly every time we reach this level it is a good resistance and down here is a good support uh, and we should keep playing this same range at, until we have uh, some kind of uh, breakout here um, if we look at oil, uh, it's been also um, pushing slightly to the upside slowly after this impulse here. It's going slowly. There is no momentum. This um, this slowdown in momentum uh, is probably a signal that we may get one more leg to the downside. I'm still watching this as a potential flag and uh, looking if we're going to get uh, some kind of break to the downside. And um, yeah, the top here is still the uh, key resistance and uh, the bottom here is the key support. And of course we have this swing down here, which may also be a support in between those. So um, if uh, oil uh, reach that uh, 41, uh, 40, uh, 4150 level uh, next week and no uh, new high been made, I'm expecting another rotation back down on uh, this market or if we maybe get some kind of break below uh, a trend line that would be the same situation as well for gold I'm still uh, looking for a bullish move I'm still uh, thinking that that 1800 uh, need to be tested is still not tested yet but for now uh, you see that uh, we, there was an attempt last week um, to uh, break higher to then go back down to the trend line and hold at that level till the close so uh, gold nothing new here the same as i said last week uh, we had a potential break that happened and now we do have the market trading above uh, the 1750 1750 gonna still be the support so any retest back toward that level could be an area to look for a potential buy so uh, keep looking for possible buys from that level uh, euro sideways still inside the range so this market is uh, really going sideways and now we, we have even narrower um, range here on the, the euro and uh, there's not much to do here uh, all we need to do is uh, playing the range the same as I said about the Dixie every time we reach the top we sell every time we reach the bottom down here it is a, a buy and as I said keep uh, 
uh, keep your uh, profit level uh, a little bit small because uh, we're not having big movements, especially now in summer trading. So uh, for next week, uh, we're probably going to see a retest of this level. And if that would be the case, we may try to go long for the uh, next uh, swing high up here. Or if we see a continuation to the upside, this here going to be our sell level. So these are the levels to play. Nothing else to do. Everything is in between could happen inside this range. Sterling, on the other hand, this one had a little bit of a momentum last week. But if we look on the daily, we're still in a, um, a bearish market here on this swing only. So uh, there is lower lows and lower highs. And as far as there is no break above this level, this area here going to be a sell level. So keep an eye on this uh, key structure here. This here going to be um, a key structure. If this market failed to make a new high here, we're going to see probably a continuation to the downside back to the bottom here. But if uh, the breakout happens, then we are looking for continuation of this uh, new four hour trend that had been established with a uh, initial higher low a higher high and now we have another higher low above the 200 moving average and potentially continuation but as i said for that continuation to happen we need to see that break above this uh, key swing high and if that would be the case then we look for a retest and continuation toward um toward this uh, previous stop uh, uh, looking left okay usd uh, jappy uh, same here uh, nothing new we still uh, we still have three levels to watch uh, 106 107 108 there that is the, the ladder for this market so every time we reach this level it is um, a strong support then you have the 107 that got broken retested and you had a push up toward 108 that failed to make new high and gave you a big rejection and potentially we may see another leg down so uh, what i'm watching here uh, for next week is uh, after this impulse and this consolidation if we're gonna get some kind of break to the downside and another retest of 107 and if 107 is broken 106 is the next area so uh, these are the levels as i said 106 107 108 that is what you can be playing for next week usd chief still inside the range uh, been a couple of weeks now inside this uh, range here and nothing has changed yet and we need to keep playing the same uh, range until we have a breakout um, either to the upside or to the downside on this market so for now it is still a support and it is a buy level where the market is testing right now for a potential move back up to the top but if broken we look for a retest and potentially continuation at least to this low down here or probably lower and for the bulls to really uh, take back control on this market they need to break out of the range to then look for a uh, continuation higher okay so play the range it's still intact it's still not broken you stick at almost same situation we still uh, see the price uh, ranging here below the 200 moving average on the four hour this 200 moving average been acting as nice dynamic resistance uh, tested also uh, many times last week and fails to break above it and uh, it is pointing to the downside but still we are inside this uh, little range here and um, you should still seeing this bottom of the range as support and uh, potentially a, a bounce higher but if broken then next target gonna be down here these previous lows and the major swing down here looking left and uh, on the daily time frame we know that this is a really strong and uh, key support uh, because been tested many many times so if that little range uh, got broken and uh, potentially continuation to toward that area but short term keep playing the range nothing else to do on this market either same for Aussie USD also in uh, a consolidation and uh, yeah as you see all these markets uh, going sideways and um, yeah we should uh, adapt and um, do the same um, nothing uh, special here it is a ranging market so what we should be doing is selling the high buying the low uh, everything in between could be very very choppy because it is easy for the market to push up from here or down without any uh, strong uh, resistance or support on the way so that's why the best would be 
to wait for these edges and then play those areas. So keep an eye on that, uh, on those couple levels. Same for New Zealand USD. Um, also <laughs> ranging market, uh, gonna be a very boring um, um, overview this week, but, this week, but uh, yeah, there is um, times when these stuff start to happen and uh, we should adapt as I said and it is actually pretty easy traded because all you need to do is uh, play the edges of the range and uh, looking for a bounce back toward the top and uh, vice versa to the downside until you have some kind of uh, break out of these ranges so as I said at the beginning of this video we probably in uh, already in that summer trading channels where not much happens and uh, the markets start going uh, sideways and that's why uh, it is good to adapt it is good to have a uh, lower take profit level so you can um, it is about uh, entering for one swing only and um, closing the trade when the market reached the next level as you see all of them even in New Zealand JP looking the same also uh, sideways USD Singapore dollar sideways these are the market that I used to uh, do for my um, trading room Aussie New Zealand sideways uh, Aussie CAD sideways uh, Euro Oz sideways but now it broke out of the range and pushing toward this uh, low down here so uh, yeah guys um, today you got uh, a, a quick look as well at uh, the market that I used to do for my trading uh, room as well and um, again it is uh, the same message for our market almost keep an eye on those ranges play those range until we have uh, breakouts and the market start trending again thanks a lot see you next week